CBS 17's Sheena Elzey joins us live tonight after spending the day in an area still struggling in the aftermath of Hurricane Florence and Tropical Storm Michael. Sheena, how are they dealing with all that standing water that's still there? Well, that's a different story than what we're seeing right here now. Right now, we are in Fayetteville. As you can see, the streets are wet here, but the water moving pretty good through the drains, the storm drains over here. But in Red Springs, the area you were talking about, that's a completely different story. The entire neighborhood, an entire neighborhood out there still underwater from Florence more than a month ago. But the water was right here when I first started pumping. Timothy Hammonds has been pumping water from Florence through his own plastic pipelines every day for nearly six weeks. We out here eight hours a day, eight and a half, sometimes nine hours steady pumping. And with serious back problems, the disabled veteran kept pumping, but it keeps raining and his house, along with the houses on Mount Zion Church Road, are still in the middle of nearly knee deep standing water. It's sad sometimes when uh, when you need help. <clears throat> and uh, we can't help you. That's hard to swallow for me. He's been trying to help people like Loretta Cottle. Ah, I'm sinking. Who can't get to her backyard Let's and can't there. use her heat because of the month old flood water. Everything's nasty. The air conditioning on the water, heat on the water. But as the water starts to rise again with this rain, Timothy Hammond says, so will they. We're just going to rise one way or the other. Now, just like that homeowner did, I called to see what can be done. So far, we know that the state DOT is looking into drainage issues under the road there in Red Springs. I also called the Robinson County Emergency Management Office. They're out inspecting this, too. But so far, they say there's little that can be done for these homeowners stuck in the middle of all that standing water. Live in Fayetteville, Sheena Elsie, CBS 17 News.